guys show us in here and today we'll be taking a look at the map house so we're going to start by entering the front door of the house over here i would not try to enter this door right here normally because you can be seen from all the railings up there as well as inside here in the billiards room and over by the kitchen area as well we start over here in the billiards area this is a objective room but this is one of the worst objectives for There's so many windows here you can get shot from, from outside. You can't castle them all up. You could be fused. You could be... There's almost no walls to do up in here. There's only two or three. And they don't really help. There's a hatch here that you can use to open up when you're defending the weight room. Or when you're attacking the weight room as well. You can line sight anybody pushing that door or anybody trying to plant a bomb. Next area I'm going to show you is the kitchen. So this is the side door entrance to the kitchen. I'd be careful trying to enter here. This is a normal popular spot to enter, but you can get a line set from there. From the bottom stairs and the top stairs, and down to the kitchen as well. There's a lot of angles to watch for, so this is a high traffic area. So this is the actual kitchen. This is the main hatch to the basement objective. A lot of people used to come after this and try to breach it, but in days, not many, so sometimes it's left unreinforced. Now I'll give you right into the basement objectives. Over here is the dining room. This is sometimes an objective room. A hostage will be behind here. You can attack the window. The other thing you can do, if you're defending, you can jump out here and start shooting on anybody trying to breach this wall. If your ball's enough. This is usually a non-traffic, unused tra area. Not a lot of people know it, and this is almost never used. This is the office. There's two windows in the door you can enter. This is right outside the front door. If you want an alternate entrance, I'd probably break this window first. Just get a line checking on the door. Come through here, and then you'd be in the kitchen. This is the alternate stairs down to the basement. The main stairs would be over by the kitchen. These would normally be known as the main stairs for the basement, but the back stairs for going upstairs. The main set of stairs would be over here in the main room, in the lobby. Just so continuing upstairs. We have the bathroom. This is usually a high traffic area, usually somebody in here, defender. You can also try to push this from the three windows in the shower. Somebody will usually try to hide in the shower or on the other side of here by the toilet because this wall is reinforced. This is the master bedroom. This is usually an objective room. It's quite often pushed from the outside window right here. If somebody does that, you can try to get into the kids' room and shoot them out this window. There's a hatch here. You can use this rotation if you need. Take you down to the work office area. Another trick I've used before is broken this hatch as well as that window. And I've tried to shoot people aiming into the garage area. You try to hide behind this bookcase, it's very bullet resistant. You also hide behind that couch, that couch should be bulletproof. The bed as well should be bulletproof. When doing this, room up. There's not many walls I'd bother reinforcing. This is one of them though. You can get a line of sight right onto the hallway and onto those windows, which is a very high traffic area for attackers. So I'd make sure to do that one up. Now I'd come into the closet and I'd probably do two of these, but you can also do one as a rotation. Into the kids' bedroom. This is the closet. Sometimes you find a defender hiding in here, trying to watch the windows. Another little trick is I usually put a mirror right here. But I'll show you what it looks like. You do this just by punching a hole. Let's open a giant one, but there's a bookcase here. You cannot break through. Even my shotgun can't break it. So this is bulletproof. You can be protected by this. You don't need to do up these walls. And also you can get a line of construction or on the slanted window. This is a hatch right on the back side stairs. This is the kids' bedroom. This is also an objective room, and usually there's a lot of windows on it. So normally, if we're defending this, 
I either do it both or make a rotation hole. And then we almost always, always blow both of these two walls right here. So you can get a line of sight onto the stairs and anybody coming up makes it real hard for them. So these two walls we blow to forever in kids' bedroom. If you're ever in this room, be careful somebody's probably going to throw an impact. Then we do up these two facing construction. So this is a construction room over here up top. These are bulletproof. The 2x4s. There's two windows right here. Common rotation hole, always, always, whenever you're upstairs, you have a rotation hole here. So you can get access onto the slanted window. And also just get along this ledge up here. You can also hide up here if anybody's trying to come in the front door and other places, so we always make this rotation hole as well. This window leads to the outside, the front door, and this leads to the veranda, which would be by the bathrooms. It's also a very common attacker strat to try and get onto these windows as a pal. You get a line of sight onto the kids' room there. Down kitchen stairs and into the bathroom as well. Anybody coming out of construction? Anybody coming out of main bedroom? One more spot you can use is an attacker. You can climb this ladder and get into the treehouse. If you're a glass or somebody with an acorn, you can try to enter these small windows as well. Or in the kids' bedroom. Ten seconds. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at garage. One of the most common things when attack now is trying to pick the garage option, defending. And it's common to bring a thermite and try to breach these garage walls whenever there's a garage wall. You're going to see a thermite, maybe a bonnet, just to be sure. One little trick is there's a little cherry picker right here you can actually climb up to. If you're attacking the work office, glass, or even just the basement, you can get a line of sight up here with the glass. Lay down and get a sight through there. Watching the top floor. The most common option is to breach one of these walls, usually this one, the reason being, if you try to go over and breach these walls, defenders can actually shoot through here, but you can also shoot back in. So just be careful if you try to breach these walls, that right there. Now we're inside the garage. This is the spot I showed you where you can shoot back at them. These cars are indestructible, so you can hide behind them usually. These walls lead to weight room, you can rotate here. This be the laundry room leading into it. I would reinforce this wall for sure. This leads into the weight room and off the stairs. And I would do those walls for sure. So that hatch I showed you earlier in the kitchen, that's really your call if you want to do it. But I'd also redo this wall, because this one here would lead onto the stairs. That could be a bad line of sight if anybody's on there. Getting right between these racks and into the door. Next we have the weight room. Whenever attacking the weight room, I usually go in from this door. My back is protected by this concrete wall. I only have to watch my side. There are two windows right here. See if we jump out of so what I usually do is put a claymore right there and just wait for them to jump out. And then I continue pushing here. These walls are usually soft. You're not going to get too great of a line of sight except for on that door. Coming through here, as I said, there's usually a rotation hole where you can make one. These walls are usually soft because they're worried about the garage doors. Get into the back and clear anybody who's usually hiding on this side. Somebody might be by this boat. Watching that breach hole, it's coming in right there. Anybody else would probably be over behind this truck or behind this work office station. Another place you can hide is over here behind this weight rack. It used to be a very common place to hide, but not many people use it anymore, so a lot of people forgot about it. And these weights are bulletproof. You can also get a line in between here if you're very careful. Another place you can lay down is right here. It's 
a very, very, very thin line, but you can get bullets through. Good place to put a drone is on this table, that way you can watch both sets of stairs. A little trick you can do if you can breach just right here, concrete stairs, so you can't be shot through. But if you can make a small hole between these beams, you can get a line of sight when attacking this room. But this is not reinforced right here by the desk. And over here is also reinforced, so you can make a second one right here if you wanted to. And you use that to watch onto the stairs. Front door, construction heel, front door. It's your call. Hot.